Christine Cooner from Ellie's Place is back today to talk about grieving children and how we can give them tools to work through that process so they have better life outcomes. That's essentially what we're talking about, right? Right. We're helping these kids in their peer-to-peer -peer support groups build a foundation to deal with, deal with their grief every single day. Because as we know, grief comes in waves. Yes. It's not done in a year. No. It can pop up in five years, 10 years, 15 years. We want to give them the tools and to deal with their grief as life goes on. And help them understand that there are other kids, their peers, who are having experiences similar to them because it's such an isolating thing when you lose a parent or a sibling or somebody that's a very close integral anchor relationship in your life. Right, you feel so alone. Yeah. Kids feel alone, I'm the only one. The current statistic in Michigan is one in 11 children will experience the death of a parent or sibling before the age of 18. Wow. That number doubles by 25. Wow. Think about all the kids in, in this area. Um, and if we don't, you know, we cannot stop tragedy. Right? It's gonna, yeah. it, we can stop the secondary tragedy by helping the kids start to process their grief yes. and realize they're not alone. Yes. Real quick, some tools. Monster chasers. You can build a monster chaser. Yes. <laughs> These masks are really important, what you're showing the external world, what really is the inside. And throw me that ball. How does this work? <laughs> Answer question. My favorite food is pizza. <laughs> Today I feel sad. Right. I really miss my person. Yes. And this is something that happens in these groups and there's play that involves, that's involved that really helps people connect and process. Build a connection. Yes. yes. I love it. All for free community supports this and thank you to this Greater Lansing community for supporting Ellie's Place near and dear to my, my heart as well. Ellie's Place.